All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So for today's video, we're gonna be installing a little something from Compressive Tuning to address the issue of damaging the stock top mount intercooler. So the car has around 3,500 miles and I haven't really done much to it, but when I looked in the engine bay, I noticed that there were a couple bent fins. So the factory top mount intercoolers are nowhere near the aftermarket ones when it comes to rigidity and if i run my finger down these fins it will definitely cause this to bend so if anything gets through the grill and for some reason goes through here where the ducts are and hits this it will for sure bend so to be honest i'm not sure where this is from and it doesn't look too serious but i know over the years that if I don't do anything about it, then this thing will get damaged and it'll just look ugly. So yeah, let me show you what compressive tuning came out with to address this. So right here, we got one of these air shields. Again, it is from compressive tuning. They make a lot of stuff for engine bays and I actually had a couple parts from them on my WRX. I had the smart flow shroud, which directed air to the intake, as well as the fender shrouds, just to add a little bit of uh, style to the engine bay. But what we have here, let me just open it. So this is compressive tuning's air shield and it is designed to protect the fins on the top mount intercooler. Obviously it's in red, but there's various colors available on their site and it is metal. So it's not too heavy and it shouldn't impact any airflow. Again, it's just to protect those fins by acting as a cover uh, on the top mount intercooler. So yeah, this is the shield right here. Sorry, it doesn't fit in the frame, but this is uh, their honeycomb design and you got the compressive tuning logo right here as well as on the other side. And then a couple slots on each side for the bolts. It's a pretty simple design and it should fit flush over the stock top mount intercooler. And then also included in the box are these two brackets, which I'll show you how to install. They're pretty simple as well as these Allen screws and I think they're three millimeters. So yeah, that's all you'll need is a three millimeter Allen wrench. Let's go ahead and throw this on the car. It should be a pretty quick video. All right, so installation is pretty simple. What you wanna do is take the shield and make sure that you have the compressive tuning side on the right, and then we're just gonna place it on top of the intercooler. Just like so. And then we take one of the brackets and let me zoom in here real quick. So what you wanna do is you take one of the brackets, make sure it's facing this way. And then you just slide it under here. And then you wanna make sure that the holes line up and you take your three millimeter bolt and just hand thread that on there for now. So once that's loosely fitted, we'll do the same for the other side and then we'll finish it up by tightening both sides. So after you get the shield loosely fitted, just make sure that it is flush on the top mount intercooler. Just gently push down on the sides. And then once it's flush, you take your three millimeter Allen wrench and just tighten it. All right, so let me bring you guys over here real quick to avoid any confusion. But the bracket that we installed is just sitting behind here and it's just under the lip of the intercooler. So that's how that bolts on there. Once you get the screws in there, it's not gonna go anywhere and it is secure. But yeah, this should prevent any minor debris from further damaging the intercooler fins. So there's a little bit of bounce on there, but this thing is designed to just cover the entire thing like so. And I gotta admit, it looks pretty cool. 
and this shield should fit the 2015 plus STI, 2020 plus Outback or Ascent, but it has to be the stock top mount intercooler. So like I said, just a short video for today. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.